welcome back to another video. I'm gonna be some someone suggested in the comments below a subscriber, he's now my friend because he's a cool guy, but he suggested that I do a top five Keka Genkai or KGs in an RPG in the Roto Beyond. So this is gonna be the top five. I did showcases on four of these, so I'm gonna do a showcase on one of them that I haven't done a showcase on. So before you go back to my YouTube channel just to see what see what they are, just you know Bear with me and just watch the video full way through, I guess. So number one, we all saw this coming. It's Iron Release. Iron Release, man, it's just really OP. First move, stuns multiple times if they're in the area. Second move, complete trash, don't use it. Third move, most OP move in the game. We all saw this coming. By the way, I'm going to re rate these on a 0 to 10 on how good they are in PvP. A 0 to 10 on how good they are in killing NPCs. Um, and a 0 to 10 on how fun they are at using. So, Iron Release, I just explained it. I've done a showcase on it. If you want the showcase moves, after this, after you watch this video, you know you can go there. Whatever. And, um, yeah, it's pretty OP. Um, 10 out of 10 on goodness on killing players. 10 out of 10 on killing mobs, and I say 6 out of 10 on how fun it is at using. It's very, 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 very OP. And I don't like things that are just way too unbalanced. So that's why I'm saying 6 out of 10 on funness, but 10 out of 10 on good. This is definitely the top KG you should be trying to roll for. And I'm pretty sure you need, like, Earth and Wind. Don't take my word for it. That's just what I heard from some people. To get it when you're rolling. Second one is going to be dust release. In dust release, people see this as kind of like um, insect release or in or bug re whatever it's called. I don't really know. As kind of like that, but this thing actually does like insane damage. People don't realize that. People just think it's a stun because of course it does stun, but it also does insane damage. So the first move, this move, you kind of like shoot it. It's like a box. You know, it does like I think like twenty something damage, and um, yeah, and it stuns for like five seconds. This, it's like a beam, and it's it's kind of ranged, and it does like 30-something damage, and, you know, which it's a lot of damage. Once you get into the 30 damage mark, you're entering, like, the big boy damage, like, really good damage. Um, and it also stuns for about 5 seconds, and then the last move, it's basically just the first move, just a ginormous box. So you throw a little thing, and it's a ginormous box. And it stuns everyone in the box. And this move is also one of the best moves in the game, by far. It does, like, 40-something damage, which is insane. It, people just think it's, like, a stun. No, this thing actually does insane damage. It's not, like, overpowered. It's It should be nerfed, but it's not overpowered. But still, it, this it's insane. 40 damage and a 5-second stun and an AoE attack. So it attacks multiple people at one time. That's pretty OP, if you ask me. So, yeah. Um, good in PvP, I'd say 9 out of 10. Good to kill mobs, I say 8 out of 10. And fun to use, I say 8 out of 10 as well. Just because all it can really be using for is stunning, like, and doing combos with it. But it also does a lot of damage. So, it's really good, it's just not my favorite. It, I mean, it is really fun to use, it's not like the top, top, top. In my opinion. So yeah, that's number two. Um, number three, it's also in my thing. I say Renegon. Now, a lot of people would place this above Dust Release. And um, almost tied with Iron with Iron Release. I don't think it's up there. I It's very, very good. I, I have one of the moves equipped and the form equipped right now. It's very, very good. The first move probably being the best move. What it does is you can just hold it down and use all your chakra. It does like 100 damage depending on how much chakra you do. But you have so maybe like 70 to 130 damage. And that's a lot. That could instant kill a man. Like you can get me to 20 health with that. If you have like max chakra or whatever. All right, you could even instant kill me if you have max chakra. Maybe if I'm not in my form. Yeah, you could easily. So... Yeah, that's that. 
um, number, or uh, actually, I need to talk about it, the move, sorry. The second move, complete doo-doo, it's like one of the worst moves in the game, I don't care what you say. It's just like 20 damage, and it just pushes you away, whatever, it's like, the range is horrible, whatever. The third move, though, it stuns them for like 5 seconds. It hits them up in the air, and it does like about 25 damage, not the best on damage. Oh, someone sent me a trade, sorry about that. Not the best on damage, but definitely very good on, it's like, stunning. So they're up in the air, you can take your iron fists out if you have iron fists, and just punch them in midair, and stuff like that. And also, it has a form, so this is, of course, gonna boost it for maybe, like, a 7 out of 10, to, like, an 8 out of 10, I think. Just because the form, you know, there's a form for it. It's not going to boost it that much, because sometimes you don't want a form, but, you know, in my opinion, it boosted. I'd give this an 8 out of 10 on players, a 7 out of, mm, yeah, 7 out of 10 on mobs. No, no, actually, an 8 out of 10 on mobs, so two eights. And then a fun to use, I'll give it a 9. So this is one of my favorite ones ever, just because the form is, like, really sick. I really like the form. And, um, yeah, that's the main reason why. So, yeah, moving on to number four. Again. <laughs> Actually, no, wait, I don't have it in my thing. All right. So, number four is Tensigon. Now, you may ask, why Tensigon? It's basically like a mini Renegon, isn't it? Well, you may be right. Kind of. So, the last move of Tensigon is almost identical to the first move of Renegon. I'd say they're about the same. I, I, don't, I don't know how to compare damage. I don't know which does more damage. But they do around the same. Maybe like 10 damage off. Maybe Renegons do a little more damage or Tensigon does a little more. I don't know. I assume Tensigon, if one would do more damage, I assume Tensigon would do more damage. Just because this is the last move of Tensigon. So, yeah. That's number four. Um, and the moves, the first is basically like a Rasengan. Does like 30 damage. You know, pretty good. Um, the second move is basically like a beam with like a 20 second cooldown. So it's pretty long cooldown. Not very good in cool on cooldowns, but it's basically a, um, a, Kamiyami, a one hand Kamiyamiya. So, you know, watch out for those Tensicon users. Um,. The last move, again, I just talked about it, basically the same as first for Sangon move. You could probably one shot me if you had full chalk or the max chakra, like 180 or like 190 chakra. So, yeah. Um, the so yeah, those are all the moves. The form, so I'm boosting this from like a six out of ten, maybe to a seven out of ten because of its form. Its form is. Probably better than any other form in the game besides, like, beside or, um, any equipable form besides, like, you know, these, um, mode forms, whatever. So, yeah, I think that's what it, what makes it really good because it shoots out these, like, black things. I also did a showcase on this, so if you want to go see all the moves, um, you know, and this is one of my favorite, this is, like, my, one of my favorite or even could be my favorite Kekai Genkai in the game right now. So, I'll give this a 7 out of 10 on to players, a 6 out of 10, no, no, a 7 out of 10 to mobs, and a 10 out of 10 for fun, funness, yay, fun. And, um... Yeah, so that's number four. Number five, you probably saw this coming. Sin released. I didn't do a showcase on... Oh, excuse me. Didn't do a showcase on this. Um, I'll do a showcase right after this video. Just so, you know, you could see the moves if you want. And, um, yeah, it's, it's very uh, good, kind of, kind of. So the first move is honestly 
a trash move. It's a sand tsunami. I'm. Mean, it's like a, a like a four out of ten move. It's it's useful if this was not the only one that could do that. So it's kind of like the wave in ninjutsu or whatever. I don't even know if the wave in ninjutsu is still a thing. I mean, maybe it's water shark. I don't really know. Whatever. So it's basically like the old wave. It's pretty long range. It summon, summon, it, it, like it summons the thing pretty quickly, in like half a second. It does like twenty something damage, so it's not that bad of a move. The second move, honestly, I'd say the worst move in the game. I'm not even gonna lie. It does like thirty damage, which seems really good, right? Wrong. All right. Okay. It's like, you know what it does? It literally in a range of like one stud does like 30 damage and it's impossible to hit unless you're stunning someone so it's pretty trash move though but the third move is kind of op if you use it correctly so you guys probably saw if you watch my youtube channel at all you probably saw my op combo videos and you may ask about that well shouldn't this be like a 9 out of 10 or whatever, because of that combo, well, this is why I'm putting it at a, well, I'll tell you in a bit, so, the last move makes you fly, you can use Iron Fist to punch down from the sky, it's pretty OP, I've only lost, like, four, like, four or five times with it, out of, like, the 50 matches I played, in ranked matches, um, and, uh, yeah, and I've lost to people, either with Sand Flight, Hawk Summoning, or just like they like hack glitch like launch up and glitch or they have like um or like i don't know like when i'm taking off from the ground if i'm like lagging or slow they use like stun they stun me and then they combo me to death with iron fist that's usually how i lose if you want to counter this, just block, but it's pretty hard to counter, I'm not gonna lie. Eventually, you are going to die, but, you know, whatever, it's the best you can do. Besides, if you have, like, hawk, the Hawk Summoning or Sand Flight. So, the reason why this is number five, this is not number two, is because, first of all, the first two moves, and how it is on its own. So, on its own... The KG, I'd say, is like a 4 out of 10. It's a pretty bad KG. With the iron, with this iron release combo, I'd say 10 out of 10. And that's why I'm giving this a 7 out of 10. Because the first two moves are useless. Last move is makes it a 4 out of 10. If it's with the my combo, it's a 10 out of 10. That's why I'm putting it at number 5. Otherwise, it would be like number 15. So, um... Yeah, by the way, I'm only doing top 5, I'm not doing top 15. So, um, that's gonna be it for today's video. By this video is uploaded, there should be another video coming on its way. Or, there should be another video uploaded. A sand release showcase. Just so I can showcase these moves. You know what I'm saying, so. Um, yeah, that's gonna be my top 5. If you really wanted to, you could switch Tensagon with, like, Momoshiki Renegon. If that's what it's called, I'm pretty sure it's, like, some red thing. Where you can, like, reflect moves. And you can, like, take an act. You have, like, an axe and stuff and whatever. You know that? Yeah, that. You can maybe replace that with Tensagon. But, yeah. That's gonna be it for today's video. By the way, I'm almost C-rank. By the time this video's out, I'm probably ranking up to C-rank. So, um, yeah, and, um, by the way, quick, just, just telling you, this is my opinion, this is not, like, an official thing or whatever, of course, of course it's not an official thing, this is just what I think in my personal experiences, of course I only have, like, 10 kgs max, or not max, will have all the skills at least, only like 10 kgs that I actually have that have all the skills. So, and yeah. Also, by the way, 
I'm just gonna put this out there. Scorch is uh, honorable mention. The Momo Shaker Renegon and Scorch are like number six and seven, not in order. So yeah. Also, I have no one telling me this, but please tell me, like, does BB Studio actually still work on this game? Like, I I just really want to know because if they don't, then well, I can abuse really hard. So yeah. That's gonna be it for today's video or for this video. Um, I'll see you guys later. Sub if you want. I don't really care. It would be appreciated. And um, yeah. Goodbye.